Hi! For this video, we're going to learn how to navigate our Android device so that we can make use of the Epson Eye Projection app to wirelessly connect to an Epson interactive projector. Credits to Mr. Jules Montuya for letting me borrow his Android phone to be able to demonstrate how we can set up our eye projection app and to be able to launch and project some files that's significant for instruction and for discussion and lecture and demonstration and so many other uses let me um, tell you also that permission was sought from the students if ever you'll see some of their pictures as samples for demonstration purposes so for android device it's somewhat the same with the ios device with regards to setting up your phone so that you'll be able to connect to the epson eye projection app so in this in this video we're gonna demonstrate the step-by-step -step process and the first step is you go to your settings to your wi-fi settings and connect to the pax wi-fi which is the wi-fi of the projector in the classroom so however it's named please connect right away there and it says no internet because it's from the projector the moment you're connected go to the eye projection app and click on the wi-fi which is packs here in this case connect to the projector okay and the moment you're connected it will prompt connection successful and the moment you're connected then you can start launching some files in this case let's try to connect uh, let's try to launch some photos so those are sample photos in the case of the students if you have some notes there that you may want to project and discuss with your other classmates then you may choose that so say for example a note from or a photo of the lecture in calculus and in that case the moment you want to highlight or annotate on the file itself then you may do so using your own phone if you're from a distance in the classroom so you can just use that and vary the color vary the thickness or the width of the line you can also vary the transparency so you have options for that you can also erase if there's a need however you can also do that on the board this is the case when you're so mobile in the classroom then you can just you don't need to go to the board to do it another is what if we're going to use the camera the camera will give us the live telecast of the whatever you want to take a video on so that's me in the picture so if you want to um telecast something so that a large audience will be able to see it then you can do so using the camera of your phone then once you want to freeze you just use the remote control if you want to freeze and emphasize a certain scene on the video then just freeze it using that remote control and then and then start explaining on the board next is what if we're going to project some documents in the case of android phone when you click on pdf it will give you all the choices where you are downloading the or saving your your files so just choose what whatever wherever you save them and make sure that it's in pdf file so that you'll be able to project that in case of google slides you can also convert that to pdf so you can project that there in the case also of android device you can click other apps and in this case if this is not um, applicable for iOS device only for Android so when you click other apps it will if you click start now it will capture everything that that's displayed on the screen of your phone so in case you have some significant apps that you want to demonstrate in front of a large audience then everything on your phone will be seen whatever you're doing on the phone will be seen on the screen on the board where you're projecting it so that way you can if you want to demonstrate to students for example how to make use of, a, of an app that you want them to learn then you can just demonstrate using your phone so that way it's very convenient it's very light and you can innovate your teaching practices aside from just doing the usual slides so that's it and if ever you have some questions 
don't forget to leave some comments in this particular video so that we can answer them. And if ever you've got some best practices that you've been doing using your Android or iOS device, please leave a comment too so that we can learn from one another. So this is it. This is Madam Narka saying don't stop learning, unlearning, and relearning till the next video tutorial. Bye. God bless you all.